Nitrogen is an essential nutrient for plants that must be absorbed from the environment. Nitrogen is found in every amino acid and nucleotide, which are used to make all of the plant's proteins and nucleic acids. Nitrogen gas is actually the most common gas in the atmosphere, but plants cannot absorb and use this form of nitrogen. In order for plants to absorb nitrogen, it must first be converted into a different form. The process of converting nitrogen gas, N2, into ammonia, NH3, is called nitrogen fixation. This is the first step of the nitrogen cycle, and it can happen in a couple of different ways. Nitrogen fixation can begin in the air when lightning strikes. There is large amounts of energy in lightning, and the heat it gives off causes nitrogen to react with hydrogen in ways it would not under normal conditions. This chemical reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen produces ammonia. Most nitrogen fixation is performed by microorganisms in the soil. Nitrogen fixing bacteria convert nitrogen gas into other nitrogen compounds that can be absorbed by plants. Many of these bacteria actually live inside of the roots of plants. Soybean plants and other legumes contain these bacteria inside of root nodules. Once nitrogen has been fixed and transformed into ammonia, nitrifying bacteria convert that ammonia into nitrites and nitrates. These nitrates are what can be used by plants. There's also denitrifying bacteria in the soil. These bacteria take the nitrates and convert it back into atmospheric nitrogen, N2, which travels back into the air. This helps to replenish the nitrogen gas that's in the atmosphere. Decomposers also play a vital role in the nitrogen cycle. They convert the nitrogen-containing compounds found in the dead tissues of plants and animals back into ammonia, placing that nitrogen back into the nitrogen cycle. It's important that you understand just how critical a role different types of bacteria play in the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen-fixing bacteria in root nodules and in the soil help convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. And nitrifying bacteria are what convert ammonia into nitrites and nitrates. And finally, it's denitrifying bacteria that once again produce the atmospheric nitrogen found in the air. Notice that even some decomposers are bacteria, which convert the nitrogen-containing compounds found in the dead plants and animals back into ammonia. As you can see, bacteria play many roles in the nitrogen cycle, keeping nitrogen flowing through every ecosystem.